Our goal is to build intelligent machines to help people in their daily lives. What makes us intelligent is our ability to learn. And this is what we're trying to reproduce in machines. And to some extent, we get inspiration from biology. What we can do with current technology is build networks of simulated neurons on the order of magnitude of the brain of a, of a mouse, let's say. So the way we train our machine, we show a bunch of images of, say, breeds of dogs. And for each image, we tell it what it is. We want the machine to be able to learn to perform the tasks. The more we show them examples, the better they get. And what's very interesting is that after a while, it can do this with a new dog it's never seen before. It's able to exhibit superhuman performance on a particular task. So how can we help people's life with this? Friends 937, Newsfeed. Lindsay Russell updated her cover photo yesterday at 10.29 p.m. This image may contain outdoor, cloud, foliage, plant, tree. This image may contain six people, child, close up, mic, <laughs> one or more people, jewelry, smiling, 19 likes, three comments Aww. like. Now I can see the picture in my head. Like, yeah, you shouldn't have been that close up. <laughs> like, now I can say it. Oh, I gonna love it. You have no idea. This is amazing. The whole saying of pictures being worth a thousand words, I, I think it's true. But unless you have somebody to describe it to you, even having like three words just helps flesh out all the details that I can't see. I feel like I can fit in if there's more... I can do. I can just call my mom like, yay, I, I seen your picture. And she'll be like, what? She was like, how you see it? Because my phone read it to me. It's new. <laughs> and I'm going to mess with my mother head so much. <laughs> In the future, we'll be able to give a complete description of the image. The two people happy? Are they sad? Are they holding hands with one another? It's this kind of comment that a human would make. We have systems in the lab that are able to do this. And they will be deployed over the next few years. Artificial intelligence systems are going to be an extension of our brains, the same way cars are an extension of our legs. They're not going to replace us, they're going to amplify everything we do, augmenting your memory, giving you instant knowledge. And they're going to allow us to concentrate on doing things that are properly human.